Okay, so I've chopped up my asparagus, um, and I've also chopped, finely chopped, about a half of a small onion, and then I have a clove of garlic. I've also uh, finely minced my garlic, and you can just use a knife like this and hold the tip down and, and mince it like this, or you can put it into a mortar and pestle and pound it, or you can push it through a garlic press. You just wanna get it into small pieces. Okay, so we've heated up a frying pan here, and we're just gonna pour a little bit of olive oil in to kind of get our onions and garlic to release all of their flavors. I think the smell of onions and garlic, oh my goodness, that's hot. Okay, so now we're gonna add our asparagus. Our onions have started to get a bit transparent or translucent, and we're just gonna push our asparagus into there. And then we're gonna remove this from the heat. So while that's cooking, because I don't like to waste time in the kitchen, I'm going to crack some eggs into a bowl. Remember, I'm using a flat surface so that I minimize the contact of the shell with the actual egg part. And I'm gonna crack these four eggs in here. And then, I'm just gonna use a whisk to basically just whisk them together. So our asparagus, you know, it smells so nice. It's got this fresh, you can almost smell the color green when you're sauteing asparagus. Okay, so we've got that going now, and this is almost, I think this is almost ready. So the asparagus is nice and tender. We're gonna let it go for a few more minutes, and I'll tell you about the other things we're gonna add. These are panko crumbs. I've chosen gluten-free panko crumbs because I have a child who can't have wheat in his diet, but they're just as good as the regular panko crumbs. You can use any kind of bread crumbs. And then the only other thing we're gonna add is a bit of grated Parmesan cheese um, and some salt and pepper One to way flake. that I test whether the asparagus is just getting tender, I kind of push my wooden spoon down onto a piece, and if I can break it apart with just a little bit of pressure, it's probably ready to come off. Okay, so we've allowed that to sit for a few minutes. It doesn't really have to be completely cooled. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna add everything to our egg mixture, mix it all together, and pour it into this pie dish that I've greased with some butter. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes to bake. So let's do that now. Okay. I'm gonna start by putting my asparagus in here. And then we're gonna add our panko crumbs, our Parmesan cheese, and then we're just gonna basically mix this together. Into our dish, there we go. 